God has given both marriage and singleness actually for the same ultimate reason, to, to, to point to the gospel of Jesus Christ, to point to the end, which is our union with Jesus, that the great marriage of the, the lamb and his bride, the, the climax of the, the Bible story, the climax of, of all history, the climax of our salvation. And singleness can point to that because singleness is a way of saying that my, my marriage to Christ is so sufficient that it is so rich and satisfying, I can do without human marriage in this age, that the marriage I have in Jesus is enough, that the reality that is to come where we won't marry and be given in marriage in the age to come, that is so real and so good, I can live according to that reality even now. And so singleness is a way of saying to a culture that is obsessed with, with sexual and romantic fulfillment that actually... Jesus is enough that we can, those are good gifts that we can enjoy in, in the proper God-given context, but actually only Jesus is what is necessary. And so singleness is a wonderful way of, of living now in a way that testifies to the age to come.